hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel today we are going to see how we can delete a snapshot on vmware vcenter from a specified date suppose i want to delete a snapshot older than seven days or less than seven days then how we can do that right so there is a script for that and if you have seen my earlier video where i, I have shown you like how to create or delete a snapshot but there we haven't specified the date but here we are going to specify the date so how we are going to do that you can see uh, there are so many snapshots here so i'll show you the script here the first line you have to use it when uh, the powershell is asking you to participate in the uh, uh, user uh, program customer improvement program then you have to use that line otherwise uh, you can just hide it by pressing the hash Then the second, we are using the credential as a variable. So every time whenever you run the script, you will get an option to uh, enter your credential to connect to the vCenter. Now again, we are using the vCenter as a variable. So you don't have to every time specify the vCenter uh, manually in the script. Uh, you don't have to bound that. So whenever you run the script, it will ask you, okay, which vCenter you want to connect. The second one, we are using the actual connect command. So it will connect uh, the vCenter that we have specified here and the credential what we had given here. So once the connection is established, uh, what we are going to do, we are going to ask the days, okay? So here we have to specify the date uh, from how long like you want to get the snapshot and you want to delete the snapshot. Enter the days count to get the older snapshot. So this is a custom message you can modify according to your use and the special uh, the speciality of the script is that you can specify the virtual machines from where you want to delete a snapshot so it will not scan all the vcenter all the vms to delete a snapshot it will only take the vm that you have given the list here so let me show you right uh, how many vms are there in my list so there is a uh, d01 p02 p03 okay so uh, let me show you on the vcenter it is here okay d01 2 and 3 and we have taken the snapshot today as on 30 september okay so uh, here again uh, we have used the for each loop because uh, now this time we are going to use uh, a virtual machine name to run the script or run the command on that right so that is the reason we have used the for each loop and again we have specified the invoke command here so what we are going to invoke here okay so uh, whenever we are running the script it should give us the snapshot list that what it is going to delete so uh, i'll show you that how it will be okay if you want to export this uh, list uh, in the csv file then you can use this command or you can just hide that if you don't require it okay so currently as of now i'll hide this uh, for the demo purpose okay and here again we are using the gate vm and the, this variable the vm name it is coming from this uh, to run the command and it will get the snapshot whatever the snapshot is there it will get that but here we have used the filter okay it will not get all the snapshot present on that computer so we have used filter here where the created date is greater than the current date minus these days whatever we have specified here okay so the days count we have used as a variable so every time the script will ask us okay how uh, how older uh, snapshot you want to delete so we are going to specify here and then whatever the snapshot count we are getting here uh, we are representing that in the excel file or csv file okay so it will del uh, it will take only the vm then the name the snapshot name and the created time and here in the second command we have used the same command till here and then we just have specified okay remove snapshot and the confirmation is false so it will not ask you for the confirmation it will directly delete the snapshot so let me hide this as well because we want to know right what data it is getting when we run this command so let me run the command and i'll show you how 
it is showing the data because we haven't specified to delete a snapshot it will not delete the snapshot it will only show us how many snapshots are present on the computer because this is the command which is highlighted one okay so it is very hard to type you know the username every time okay enter the vcenter name so it is asking me so i will give the vcenter name and it is now establishing the connection to the vcenter okay uh, connected to that vcenter now it is asking okay enter the dates count okay so now we have to understand one thing here okay so the greater than and less than so there are two filter here that we can use and here we are using the greater than so let me put two days so i'll show you that what means that okay do this so you can see here so on this vm the snapshot greater than two days has been highlighted here so what is the meaning of greater like how you will identify that okay so let's see this suppose you, your machine is running here okay on this point and when you specify the greater than and the less than then what you are going to you are actually doing on that time okay when you specify the greater than it will like whatever the count you have put it will start counting from this side and when you use the lt less than then it will start counting that days from this side okay so if you specify seven so it will go to the seven days like jumping here and it will show the data from this side if you use the lt and if you specify the seven days then it will jump here to the seven days and it will show this side data okay so gt will show the recent data that whatever the count you have put and lt will show the older data that you have put uh, as a days count okay so here again uh, the everything is normal like this is the snapshot it is going to delete okay so let me remove this and we'll see uh, whether it is exporting the list or not okay uh, it is in the temp okay there is nothing in the temp now I have removed this filter and I'll run this okay the same thing okay enter the vcenter name it will connect to that yes got it and then enter the days count okay two days i want to get the data okay fine and you can see the snapshot a uh, csv file is created uh, let me open that and if i expand that every vm have a latest snapshot available so it is greater than so it will show the earlier snapshot from two days okay so now uh, let me uh, delete this now let me use here the lt that now what it will do it will not show me the current snapshot from the specified days but it will show the older snapshot from that day okay so suppose i run this here okay Okay, enter V center name moon VC01. Okay, enter the days count. Fine. Two dates. Okay, now uh, let me open this file again here. And you can see there are so many snapshots captured, but it didn't capture the two days snapshot because I have used less than counting the days from two days to older one okay so uh let me change that and uh let me delete the snapshot now so let me use the greater than because it will delete all the snapshot if i give that okay greater than and let me remove this one now this is no more comment it is a command now okay this will not prompt you for the confirmation it will directly delete the snapshot so please use it carefully okay let me run this now okay
we'll enter name and the days count okay and you can see that it is started removing the snapshot from the vlenter so let me go here as well and you can see the remote snapshot task is completed okay so uh, let me go here again snapshot and you can see here this snapshot has been deleted okay uh, let me show on the vCenter there is no snapshot left on okay so this is all older one not the current one okay so let me again create a snapshot so I'll show you the second script uh, take a snapshot okay so snapshot has been created for that you can see the latest snapshot is available on all the machines and even this one okay so what is our next script so here we uh, we saw that we can specify a computer list in the text file and it will only delete a snapshot on that particular uh, list whatever the computer you have specified there now suppose i want to delete a snapshot from whole vcenter so how i can delete that right so again we have a same script here only the little bit changes that we are going to do here like we are not using the for each command here we are directly invoking the command to delete a snapshot so what it is doing so here we have specified okay you have to run the command on this computer and we again have specified here right the vm so git v hyphen vm and then the dollar vm variable name so it is running the command on this and here we haven't specified anything so it will run the command on overhaul uh, all the vcenter virtual machine it will run the command on all the virtual machine present in the vcenter so uh, let's see that how does it work okay so here the same story okay let me hide this now okay fine and then uh, okay delete snapshot older than for all ps2 okay what is that okay there is the extra bracket here so again running the script enter the vcenter name okay fine and uh, it is connected delete snapshot older than okay now it will delete a snapshot on all the virtual machine okay so let me put two here and you can see it given the list but it will delete a snapshot from all the computer okay you can see all the snapshot deleted deleted and delete okay here it will be deleted and deleted fine okay so you, you saw here that it deleted the snapshot on all the virtual machine present in the vcenter server okay so in this way you can use this method now uh, let me use the lt so first let me hide this i just want to get all the snapshot here uh, Okay, enter the vCenter name. Okay, delete older than, right? So, sixty days. Okay, so there are some snapshot I had taken uh, before sixty days. I want to delete it, right? So, uh, I'll I'll just unhide this one. Okay, and. Let me run this. Uh, 
and uh, whatever vmd01 there was a snapshot taken on 81 okay so let me click. i guess this one fine enter okay removing the snapshot okay let me see here and you can see the eight one snapshot has been deleted okay you can see here from here as well eight one snapshot deleted it is only eight two now okay so let me delete the eight two as well right so uh, i think so this should be visible from 50 days okay let me put that 50 days here Mm -hmm. AW center name okay 50 days I want to delete a snapshot now and you can see uh, this is also and taken on 7 also it is deleting because it is considered to be more than 50 days and you can see it is it deleted the snapshot okay so in this way you can use the script and uh, use for your environment very carefully whenever you are working on this days and this lt and gt please remember this is very important okay so let me again show you gt means it will count from here to here like whatever the day you are specifying from that days to this day this side and lt means from this day to this side okay if you have anything you can just put it into the comment box and i'll try to answer that thank you for watching the video